Hello everybody, my name is Ardalan Bilavizade. Today is July 23. This video is especially for Christine AVF Association Vertical Farming in Germany. There is a great event in Munich in Germany in September. My recommendation go to Christine's LinkedIn and go the events. Today I'm going to speak about the growing saffron indoors. As I told you, the most important things in cultivation bulbs of saffron in greenhouse or indoor, you know. You can easily cultivate the bulb of saffron in your home. As you can see, this is the room of my home. And the most important things in growing saffron indoors is purchasing the bulb. In the middle of the summer, the best time for purchasing the bulb. You know, June and July in Europe, in Iran, what you should look at the season, not the month. Because uh, I have a, a training in South Africa and Australia and Ask me uh, right now in, uh, for example, in South Africa is winter, you know, but it is better for time of purchasing the bulbs. You should look to the soft season, you know, the best time for purchasing the bulbs, the bags of the bulbs of saffron is at the middle, in the middle of saffron, till at the end of the summer. The best time for purchasing the bulbs in northern hemisphere, for example, the South Africa. Or southern hemisphere in Australia, you should look to the season. In the middle of the summer, the best time for purchasing the bulb. The, another, the most important thing, another, but, but the weight of the bulbs. You know, all the bulbs that you purchase, you know, 20 grams, 17 grams, over 18 grams, over 17 grams, around 20 grams, 30 grams, it's Great, amazing, 40 grams is great, but over 17 grams works good for you, you know, but for example, the bulb, for example, uh, 10 grams, 8 grams, it doesn't work in growing saffron indoors. The bulb, the weight of the bulb of saffron, all of them should be, you know, as you can see, the bulbs, all the bulbs are, these are great for the saffron, you know. All the bulbs, the great for the weight is very important. It's very important the weight of the saffron around 20 grams. Let me tell you the story. The story is the growing saffron outdoors or traditional way of cultivation of bulbs of saffron. In the outside, 10 grams, 8 grams is also good. Under 10 grams works good to you for cultivation of outside. In the bulb with the weight of the under 10 grams in the first year you do not have any flowering you do not have any harvesting of saffron and the flowering starts in the second year and time for us is very important in growing saffron indoors in the first year we have incredible flowers you know in the first year with the weight of around 20 grams but therefore the weight of the bulb of saffron is so important. All of them should be around 18 grams, 19 grams, 20 grams, 21 grams, around between 17 grams or 25 grams or over to 30 grams. Even 40 grams is great, okay, if you have access. As you can see, after purchasing, at the, in the middle of summer, you purchase, this is exactly that you are here in Europe, in Iran, in Asia, except Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. This is the time of the harvesting. In the bags, 5 kg, the bags are 5 kg, without soil, you know, without soil, without any extra, except the bulbs. Just the bulbs of saffron, okay? After the purchasing the bulb, you should spread the bulbs after purchasing the bulb. After purchasing the the bulb of saffron, you know, spread in the one surface. For example, in the table, I spread. Why this is act help us for 24 hours for decreasing humidity of the bulbs? Because during harvesting of the bulbs from soil, there are a little humidity around 70 grams. You know, 24 hours enough. Spread in the the temperature of the 28 centigrade or 20. Uh, 6 centigrade in the one surface you purchase. You know, this is very dangerous immediately after purchasing uh, the, the bulb of saffron. Keeping the bulb is very dangerous, you know, because 
The fungal diseases might attack to the box. It is better we spray and 24 hours give time to the bulb for decreasing humidity. After 24 hours, you should disinfect, disinfect tank with tufanate methyl, what power jet, okay, in the tool. But you know, if you do not, if you do not trust to the bulb or your weight of the bulb is a little small. My recommendation: disinfectant with tufanate methyl or propargin. But my, I usually do not use any fungicide, any pesticide, you know, because trust to my body and control environmental factors. Then you control fungicide, pesticide is for 20th century. You should control, you should purchase the great bulbs, the great mother bulbs, and control environmental factors, carbon dioxide, humidity, light, and the light. When you have the control, these environmental factors, we do not have any insects, my fungal diseases. Okay, 24 hours in the one surface. After, after 24 hours, it's enough. For example, in the shelves in your room, you can create in your office vertical formula house. house. Thanks, Christine. How beautiful in the tip talk about the theoretical farming Christine from Germany good luck Christine and in the shelves after purchasing after 24 hours we should separate the just extra layer outer layer you know this extra layer you know extra layer and good all after you know, for example, extra. For example, something that is wrong. You know, for example, wrong, completely wrong. You know, this is completely wrong. We shouldn't separate this part. Even a small part, we shouldn't see the white part. This is ready for fungal disease. Okay, and you should be careful. Okay, exactly like that. Ex extra layer, extra layer. For example, in the okay, and distance also it doesn't it without soil, without hydroponic bed like cocoa people like just control environmental factors during summer after purchasing during autumn you do not need any fertilizer you do not any irrigation you should control humidity I will tell you stay tuned. And I would like that to show you another, for example, this is a bulb, okay? Good! And extra layer. Yeah. Extra layer. This Extra layer. Okay, cool. After this is wrong, okay, wrong, did he? wrong, and ready, ready, okay, and put. It doesn't need to cutting. It doesn't need. Okay, it's enough. Okay. I would like to show you that what is these are the daughter bulb from the mother bulb last year. For example, this is we have two, three daughter bulbs. You know, this is a wrong. It is better one bulb, but big bulbs. You know, one bulb, not three bulbs. You know, the fertilizer, the good fertilizer after flowering, environmental control, environmental factors allows you allows you you have the great fertilizer you great the ball of saffron okay this is the great as you can see not this is for cultivation outside okay merci woman two hours 
first it go, I separate the outer layer. Okay, that's what we wish. And then, uh, you know, as you can see, it's good. Just distance, a little distance, you know, a little distance. It's good. No, exactly right, exactly right. And after. This is all after putting the bulbs, putting the bulb, 20 gram, over 20, all bulb is over 20 gram. After it is enough control temperature. In the middle, in the middle of summer, in the middle of summer, you purchase the bulb after separating the outer layer. You should control the temperature, 25 centigrade, humidity 65% without light, without control of in, uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide around 3000 ppm, 4000 ppm in the middle of summer, okay? In the middle of summer, purchase the bulb and put in, translate to the shelves. You should control the ambient of your room, temperature 25 centigrade. Without light, carbon dioxide is around 3000 ppm, humidity 65% and the temperature 25 centigrade. Okay? Without. During summer, during autumn, we do not need any fertilizer. We do not need any the soil. Even during flowering, all fertilizer or the soil for propagation after flowering. Okay? And from Iran, the bulb is. But the story in the autumn, at the beginning of autumn, is completely different. All environmental factors should be changed in the summer without light, temperature 25 centigrade, and the carbon dioxide around 3000 ppm, and humidity was 65%. At the beginning of the, the first season in the autumn, after appearing the teach, sprout, or bulb in the bulb, you should immediately change the temperature. Temperature should be changed to 20 centigrade, humidity 80%, carbon dioxide 800 ppm. We need to fresh air and the light around over 1000 lux and temperature. Okay? After keeping seven, after 20 days, after one month, okay? After one month, uh, of keeping the bulbs in the autumn at the 20 or 1 month after keeping the bulbs with the temperature 20 centigrade, humidity 80%, carbon dioxide around for around 800 ppm looks over 1000 looks. Okay, the teach, I mean, this is the part that flowers will be appear at this part, you know, for example, in teach. This is not teach, you know, this is the uh, period and then. Uh, in the teach, because we have, we are in the summer, and I can uh, show you the teach. In the autumn, you will see the teach. The flowers ex exactly uh, will be appear. When reach to 10 centigrade, you should immediately give the cold shocking to the bulbs. Okay, cold shocking. Okay, after cold shocking. Some environmental factors should be changed. Temperature should be changed to 10 centigrade. We should give the bulbs, the environment, cold shocking, I mean ambient. 10 centigrade during three days, okay? Light also is over 1000 lux. Carbon dioxide is also uh, around 800 ppm and humidity around 90%, okay? After three days, after three days, uh, when we give, when we gave the cold shocking 10 centigrade during three days, light over 1,000 lux and the temperature around 10 centigrade and the carbon dioxide 800 ppm and the humidity around 90 percent, the tea, the flowers will be, you know, will be happier you know, in some bulbs. Okay, in the some bulbs gradually appear. 
after three days of cold shocking, we should keep the temperature of the night and day to 17 centigrade. Okay, the best temperature for flowering is 17 centigrade, like over 1500 lux. Carbon dioxide around 700 ppm or 800 ppm, like over 1500 ppm. Temperature around 17 centigrade and humidity 90%. You will have the great flowers. Flowering during 14 days, we have, we will have the flowering. Okay? And, you know, as you can see, exactly like this. You know? Wrong. Look at the distance. During summer, during autumn, the time of the flowering in Europe and Iran is October. In the middle of the autumn, the time of the Flowery. I mean, around October. In the majority of countries, except northern and southern hemisphere. Okay? The time of the flowering during 14 days or two weeks. Each, each 1000 kilogram of bulbs gives you around four, around the bulbs away, uh, around over 20 grams. Over 20 grams gives you around. One kilogram of saffron, dry saffron, I mean, not the uh, saffron. One thousand, one ton, one thousand kilograms of bulbs, one ton of the bulbs of saffron gives you one and half kilogram of saffron, sargul, super negin, okay? One ton of the bulbs, you know, one thousand kilograms of bulbs of saffron gives you around one kilogram or one and a half kilogram sometimes i had the training that was successful and from each 1000 kilograms uh, obtained around two kilogram of the dry saffron the business saffron stigma you know the main reason is the control of the environment okay in that why we should use the bulk of the weight of the 20 grams over 25 grams because it's the bulb with weight of the under 10 gram, for example, the, the bulb with the 5 grams, in the second years, you cannot give the flowers. Okay? In the greenhouse, you know, vertical farming is ex so expensive. The shelves, the air handling unit, the uh, humidifying system, boiler, chiller, all of them are so expensive. And it is so important. In the first year, you should have the business yield. You know, you should have, for example, in the 60 square meters, you can cultivate in the 60 square meters with shelving system. You can cultivate around 4,000 kilograms of bulb. Each thousand kilograms gives you around one and a half kilogram of saffron, and four to one and a half. Therefore, in the first year, you will have six kilograms of the dry saffron. Six kilograms of the dry saffron for the first year in growing saffron indoors. Okay in the growing saffron indoors, but in the cult, traditional way, in the traditional way, we have the rudens, fungal diseases, we can, we, we cannot control, we, can, we cannot have control of the irrigation, in the, uh, the irrigation of the harvesting of the flowers, we have limitation in cultivate, in the harvesting of flowers, but in the vertical farming, in the shelving system, we can easily controlled in the environmental factors in northern country southern country in the cultivation traditional we in the majority country we cannot have successfully yield of saffron okay but in the vertical farming in the covered environmental we can we can cultivate in our room in the big cities in the you know all of us, we have this environment, 
all of us, we have this environment in our room, home. You know? Therefore, in the traditional way, for cultivate, for example, for 60 square meters, we can keep, we can cultivate 4,000 kilograms of uh, 60 square meters, the chilling system. But 4,000 kilograms for cultivation, 4,000 kilograms of palm, we need to one acre, one hectare of the outdoor. You know, it is very big in environment and the majority of people in big cities do not have access to this environment. And our room with bio shelving system, with vertical system, that Christine as is one of the leader of the vertical farming, we can cultivate easily in traditional way. We have limitation. After 6 a.m., we cannot have harvesting of the flowers. The, har the time of harvesting before sunrise, because sunrise directly damage to the flowers. Okay, but in the covered environment, in the growing saffron indoors, in the covered environment, the co covered environment, we do not have any limitation in the time. We can harvest the flowers 8 a.m., 10 a.m. With sunrise because it's completely covered and we do not have the sunrise directly in the one week window because we need to just 1000 looks, just 1500 looks, and we can via artificial light, LED, and one window in the 50 centimeters by 100 centimeters by a window, we can easily provide the light of the light that the bulb of saffron need it doesn't need for example all around in the roof this ceiling we the hole just a window for 60 square meters at x house or the window 50 by 100 centimeters we can easily provide the bulb of saffron okay and vertical farming density is so important we do not have any fungal diseases and pesticides and we have control and we should we do not use any irrigation 90 80 95 percent we have a decreasing uh, water consumption in the growing saffron indoors during summer during autumn we do not have any irrigation all irrigation related to during three months of the three months of the winter and completely controlled okay and the flowering in october during 14 days, we have flowering, okay? We have flowering, just we control the humidity of ambient. We control of the humidity, temperature. When you control the temperature, 17 centigrade, humidity 90%, carbon dioxide 800 ppm, 800 ppm, 800 ppm means the fresh air. Humidity 90% and light over 1,500 lux, temperature 17 centigrade, the flowers gradually will be appear. You know, one bulb, three flowers of each bulb will be appear. Okay, and one thousand kilogram of bulb gives you around one and a half kilogram of the dry saffron. But in the bulbs, the weight of the under ten grams in the first year. Sometimes five percent of your bulb, the flowers will be appear. In the second year, third year. Fourth year, the flower will be appear. But with fungal diseases, with mites, with limitation, you know. But the worker, the labor is very expensive. And vertical farming, you know, decrease, decreases, decreases the cost of the labor because in the cultivation of this, because all flowers in the one surface, the one hectare, for example, this 60 square meters is equal one hectare cultivation outside, you know. The labor, for example, for because the harvesting of flowers in the 3, 2 p.m. should be harvested in the 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. before sunrise. And it's very high. This time, the majority of workers do not accept work in this time except high cost. And it's very expensive in different countries, especially in Europe. But vertical farming, you can yourself harvest the flowers and you have time for finding the workers, you know? And 95% in the water consumption. When we control in the water, water is very important factor, decreasing the consumption of water, and also the water related to fungal diseases and mild, okay?
Okay, one point. During autumn is so important. In the summer, at the beginning, after uh, after purchasing without the uh, temperature 25 centigrade, but your task in the autumn is so important. Okay, there is a golden point. You shouldn't allow the temperature fluctuation. Okay, let me tell you what is the story if you cannot, if you couldn't control of the temperature. If you couldn't control, you know, during during uh, of this of the autumn in the growing cycle indoors, you shouldn't allow appearing any roots or any leaves of the saffron. Okay, in the summer because the buds are asleep, and in the both of them cultivation outside and cultivation indoors, we do not have any uh, leaves and the roots but in the autumn in the cultivation both of saffron in the outside it is very it is common the appearing the leaves the roots because in the cultivation of the outside we can easily giving fertilizer and need in the before and the during autumn after flowering okay but in growing saffron indoors we should control the temperature when we control the temperature to 17 centigrade, we do not have any leaves and any roots with the ppm around 800 ppm. Okay, then if you couldn't control of temperature and temperature decrease of 17 centigrade, for example, 22 centigrade, 20 centigrade, 23 centigrade, the leaves will be appear and completely wrong. You know, destroy all of our story. You know, because it's very hard. It is not hydroponic system, aeroponic system, aquaponic system, hydro, you know, growing saffron indoors. Hydroponic system is very so expensive. In the cocoa peat, the light, the plumping fittings, you know, just when we can keep the bulk of saffron without the soil, without the bed, cocoa peat. Why? When, when we air handling unit, we purchase air handling unit and chiller in the hot season, and with the boiler in the cold season right pressure when we control why in the for example with the hydroponic system hydroponic system in other wrong in system just vertical system we should control okay if you couldn't control the temperature in the 17 centigrade and centigrade the increase to 22 23 25 the leaf will be appear and the bulb with the fertilizer and in this situation it is very hard providing of the Fertilizer, okay. During flowering, it's forbidden the giving fertilizer, giving irrigation, okay. One point, another one point. If you couldn't control the temperature and temperature decreasing to under 10 centigrade, for example, 4 centigrade, 8 centigrade, the roots will be appear. Also, we have the same story that about the increasing temperature. Both of them decreasing. The leaves will be appear, decreasing temperature. I mean 8 centigrade, 10 centigrade, roots will be appear. Most of them, because the part that the plants of saffron provide its feed needs, you know? Therefore, we shouldn't allow creating. When we do not have any roots, any leaves, okay, fertilizer, it doesn't mean. Therefore, it is very important. In my time, in my world, it is very simple. Okay, 20 centi 25 centigrade in summer and 20 centigrade and 10 centigrade cold shocking, okay, not. You should provide the shelving system, you should provide the air handling unit for this vertical farm, okay? Okay. What things that you need for the starting in the uh, growing saffron indoors, in the, at the middle of the summer, you purchase the bulbs, disinfectant with you found method for fungal diseases, and disinfectant with uh, propagated for mites after disinfect, and separating the bulbs, okay, for example, just outer layer, okay, just outer layer, enough, okay, this is good, it works to you, you know, it's good, good to you, you need to, for example, 460, Four sixty square meters. You need to shelving system around one thousand kilogram of iron for shelving. 
Air handling unit with the capacity 7,000 cubic meters per hour, the air handling unit, and the boiler for warm water, and the chiller for the hot region. Another, in the wooden boxes, I mean in the shelves, uh, you do not need to any wooden boxes because it exactly works with the wooden boxes. You can cultivate and in the 60 square meters you should purchase 4000 kilogram of bulbs okay in the shelving system the between two, the distance between two shelves is around 70 centimeters and uh, the, the the floor of your shelves it should be around four floor not over five floor because it is control of environmental factors it is very hard okay in the the most important things, you shouldn't allow the creating any leaves and roots and just 17 centigrade, okay? After harvesting of the flowers, okay, after harvesting of flowers, the bulb, you know, for example, this bulb after flowering, this bulb immediately needs to fertilize it, you know? I told you in summer it doesn't need, okay? I told you it doesn't need every day, but after flowering, because these bulbs fit you during eight years, nine years, ten years, you should only one time, once purchase the bulbs. If you give the good fertilizer in the next year, you will have the flowers. You know, for example, in the first time, if you if you find the good company, you will have in the first year flowers. But the next years, for five years, six years, the <coughs> the responsible, you are responsible for flowering, okay? Some people, okay, flowers finish, okay, and not. After flowering, if you have access to the outdoor, you should, easily, you can easily provide to the soil and uh, add to fertilizer. The other question, Ardalan, you told you one hectare is equal with 60 square meters. Therefore, after flowering with one hectare, I mean not, even 500 or 700 meters after is enough for providing with the high density it is enough okay okay i live in big cities and do not have access to the outdoors okay you can easily in the boxes with the 30 centimeters and add this the mix of the vermiculite and soil to this part you know this part and add to something 20 centimeters or 25 centimeters also good for the bulbs of Saffron. Okay. After flowering, you add if you have if you do not add, if you access to the outdoor, transport the bulb and translate the bulb in the outdoor. If you do not access to the bulb, okay, transport it. Add the mix of the vermiculite and soil to the with fertilizer. After flowering, you should control the temperature was at 17 centigrade. After flowering, you should control the temperature ambient 22 centigrade. Gradually the leaves will be up here, the roots will be up here. You add the mix of the soil and vermiculite to the with the cultivation depth 15 centigrade and in the ones. NPK, complete fertilizer, Acadian CV for the first time. At the beginning of winter, after flowering, the next part of the forgiving fertilizer is at the end of winter. With the trace elements, sulfurase is so important for controlling the pH and after in the spring, the bulbs gradually go to the sleep and summer and repeat this cycle. Thank you so much. You can uh, you can follow in the Instagram doctor doctor underline Ardalan underline Aki Agri. In the you can also message me for purchasing my books about the growing saffron and butter mushroom or other jobs related to agriculture. It, or reserving my online consultation or physical consultation to across the world, it is enough. Message me to WhatsApp 0098 935 825 3945. Good luck.